you're the product of your own roots. They form the basis of your personality, who you are. My father's side of the family we have traced back to the beginning of the 18th century when a Marcus Lesser was persuaded by um, Frederick William I of Prussia to live in Bukeburg, um, which um, to stimulate the business there. And they stayed for 200 years. Uh, my father was a commercial trainee, and in fact, he used his money um, to supplement the income of my grandfather. If there was a family who was happier than us, I have yet to meet them, I have yet to meet them. My name is Brenda Joan Rowe and I was born in Oxford on the 16th of August 1926. My immediate impressions of Francis were his kindness, his generosity of spirit, I thought he was quite handsome. He used to waste, oh, spend a lot of time punting on the charwell. I really loved Francis because of his devotion, his caring, his tenderness, and he couldn't do enough for me, really, and I felt lacking, really, by comparison. He was absolutely wonderful. Francis' interest in sculpture was, it was a relaxation really from the medical things that he was doing all the time because it was art and he loved art. We've got lots of lovely photograph albums, all meticulously put into, into albums with um, comments underneath. All very precise because he was a very precise and meticulous sort of person. It's not a letter as such, it's just four lines on a piece of paper. And the four lines say, Sleep well, my love, my only, only true love. I'll keep safe for you and you keep safe for me, my dearest darling Francis. When my mom was born, was Uromi, and um, in old what used to be Bendel State, which is now Edo State. She's one of ten children, the eldest uh, and first girl. Come for baby, I can't start a maragoloti. I can't go maragoloti. It's on record that she was the first grade one student in St. Maria Goretti. She finished in the set of 1966. I was very highly impressed by what I saw, I came to know about her. Every evening, she made a telephone call to speak to her children in the UK. And that gave me a very deep impression about what sort of uh, a good mother she was. She has a generally very caring nature. Somebody can be a mother biologically, and you could be a mother socially. She's a mother to the core. She has been a very good Catholic woman. It was a very good day. 
and uh, they are proud of each other. It was an honor that was well uh, cherished and um, from their faces when it, it, it all happened, it was obvious that uh, this was one thing that was very good in their lives. <laughs> Cheers, darling. Okay. As it's getting closer, it's beginning to, to sort of come home to me. But uh, that'll be a big chunk out of my life, really. Michael's survived 30 years, and people love him. And that's, that's very important, you know? They are really sad that he's going. His tenure has been so long. You know, I don't think most conductors stay for 30 years. Being a non-musician, I can't tell you how good a musician Michael is. I can only tell you that the product in front of him produces an incredible sound. Anthems, you don't normally think of choral singers belting them out, but an amateur choir is behind the BBC's official World Cup theme. Well, I think when you come to it, when you come to your last concert, um, you don't think about it anymore, you just know that's going to be the last one you're going to do, and you just do it. I'm sure that uh, Neil Ferris will, will do a brilliant job with them. But uh, yes, of course, I'm, I'm sad to be leaving. It will seem odd not seeing that slightly stooped very slim, slightly grey figure coming out and just going like that. I think it will be quite strange. <laughs>